is in the top 10 of the year? This just dropped. There's no way that the greatest showman got above Astro World. So today we're gonna to be showing you the top 10 biggest albums of 2018 according to Billboard. And we're gonna see if you can correctly place them in the order from one to 10. Oh, okay, this should be fun. I feel like everyone has the number one album at some point sort of thing, so kind of end of the year wrap up is gonna be hard. I probably know most of the music, but then I probably don't know which order they're gonna go in, so expect me to fail the order, but expect me to know the song. Oh, I hate this song so much. I knew it. I knew it was Cardi B. I hear this all the time. She popped off this year. I feel like she's gonna be up there, but like not way too up there. She's so cute. I love her. I'm gonna just put it as five right now. Three. She had a really good year. Number two. Ooh, it's probably wrong. Oh my gosh. Woo! Migos. Ooh, this is another good album. <laughs> they got bounce. Mm, mm, mm. This is like my type of music I listen to. Did Stir Fry really come out this year? This was early 2018 though. I do like this song a lot better than the last one. I feel like their singles did better than their album as a whole. They had a really good year. I guess they all did. <laughs> this isn't as high. I'm gonna give this like a nine. It's a good song, but it's not like my cup of tea. I'm gonna put them at six. Number five. There's no way they had a better year than Cardi B. Watch out, oh watch out. <laughs> Post Malone, yes. Oh, this this has to be at like one, two, or three. I'm sorry. I just like he's cool, but like he's not that cool. I'm with some white girls and I love them coca. Like they all see. He like owned the radio this year. <laughs> and you know me. Like it, it came out kind of like earlier, so maybe it kind of like lost its pizzazz. I'll just put it on last eight because Beer Bongs and Bentleys has to be like number one. This came out in 2016 and it's top 10. Oh, so it doesn't matter if it came out this year or not. I'm gonna do eight just because it came out two years ago. You know I say that I am better now. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> He's on here two times. This is probably up there. Beer bongs and Bentleys has to be in the top three, no doubt about it. I think that this one was more popular than his other one. Honestly, I don't think Beer Bongs and Bentleys did as well as Stoney. Six. That's gotta be like two. I'll do number three. All of these so far are rap. It's Sharon. Oh my gosh, it's Muppets. He's a classic. Like, people just love a good Ed Sheeran. <laughs> this is such a beautiful song. The song made me cry. Oh my god, this song is so sad. I hate Ed Sheeran with a burning passion. I'm not a fan of Ed Sheeran. The music video is a little weird, though. This one wasn't as big as his other albums. This one, like, maybe not near the top top. Did that come out this year? I'll put him at seven. Number six right now. Because I think Ed Sheeran's still pretty good. Seven. He's going to surprise me and be, like, way higher. She said, where we going? And I said, the moon. Oh, <laughs> there's number one right here. It's number one. Astroworld has to be number one. OK, this is definitely, like, on the higher charts. This is in the top 10 of the year? This just dropped. I love this video. This music video, the visuals are crazy. Someone said, mother someone said. I don't think this one is high. Oh my god, I freaking love Trev Scott. That's a hard one. I'll put that at seven. I'll put it in number two. I'm still saving number one for uh for Drake, probably. Number six. Four. I feel like he's higher than that, but his album came out like later in the year. Crap. <laughs> so many factors to consider. Is it cool that I said Oh gosh. I don't I'm not a fan of her. This was a big one. Oh, come on, Taylor Swift. She rules the world. Taylor Swift. You're still around. I'm sorry, but like, I, I really don't like Taylor Swift, but like, you know, I, I respect her talent. I felt like 
like this one held the spot for a while. I'll put her at eight. I'm going eight. She's like in the middle running for like the bottom half of the top. Worldwide, Taylor Swift is like huge. So I'm gonna put her at number one. Oh my God. No. Oh my God, oh my God, I love him. Oh my gosh, this makes me so sad. This video got an insane amount of views. I'm sad I really like the fact that they're still continuing his music even after he dies. Four right now. I'm putting him at number two. One, because I love him and I miss him. I don't wanna die for them to miss. Oh, Drake, of course. Yeah, of course, number one, duh. This one's so Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> This got my shoulder moving. Okay, Drake. God's plan. God's plan was like huge. God's plan, the Kiki song. There were so many huge songs. I found that down with the rope. That's so sweet. Drake, you up there. Put him in number one. Five, even though it's I'm gonna move it up later. I have spots one in ten. And it can't be 10, so I'm just gonna put it at one. The Greatest Showman? Are you kidding me? This is a commercial? Really? Good for them! <laughs> I was like listening to some of the music today actually on my way here. This is actually the first time I've heard this song, but I'm not, I'm not shocked that this is here. Yeah, that's so surprising. This is definitely 10, no doubt about it. There's no way that The Greatest Showman got above Astro World. Is that, is that Wolverine? I guess I have to put it at 10. Seven, f it. Let's do it. It's such a beautiful soundtrack. I like, I love musicals. Out of all the albums that are out there, The Greatest Showman like made top 10, 2018. I'm shocked right now. This is, what? So now that you've watched through all these videos, we're gonna give you a chance to make changes. Let us know when you're locked, and remember you get two points for every answer you get exactly correct, and one point for every answer you're only one off for. Oh, okay. Taylor Swift is one, and then Scorpion is two. I'm gonna put the second Post Malone my album is four. I'm just gonna put Cardi B as three. This is so off. I'll switch Migos and Taylor Swift. Hopefully I got some of these right, but I'm gonna lock these answers in. Number 10. We got Migos with Culture 2. Damn it. No! Off to a horrible start. I had him at number eight. No, this is gonna mess everything up. Yay, okay. Damn it. I was so close. So I get one point though. Number nine is XXXNacion with question mark. What? Oh, what? We got that and that, not good. That's sad, okay. I just, I wanted him to do really well because he like died. But it's fine. So number eight was Post Malone Stony. Adam at number nine. Oh, why couldn't you be lower? Oh, I put that as number nine. I put that at number nine. All right, one point. Oh, I got that. <laughs> got that. Okay, okay, I'm proud. Number seven was Travis Scott's Astro World. What? I think it was third. Dang, that was bad. Really? I really had like higher expectations. No way. This is rigged. There's no way. Two in a row, okay. Two points. Number six is Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy. I mean, get that. This is depressing. <laughs> okay, I have to do three, I was a little off. Damn, I put her at five. This is close to one point. I've been lied to. Who is number one? I swear, if it's the greatest showman, I'm gonna flip sh Number five is Ed Sheeran's Divide. Are you serious? Wow, look at me. Yeah, I put him at nine. <laughs> oh my God. I had us 10. Oh, I don't like this game. <laughs> Two points. Woohoo. Number four is the greatest showman soundtrack. What? Seriously? Where did you come from? Oh, I have it as five. <sighs> How can people like musicals that much? I I'm not doing very well. I got one point so far. <laughs> that makes me really happy. That's actually kind of brazy that like a musical passed up. Um, like some big names. Number three is Post Malone's Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Oh my God, oh my God. You got number three, bro? Number three? I put him as number four. <laughs> I got another point. Turn up, money, dude. Two points. Number two is Drake's Scorpion. Right on it, look at that. Nailed that one, two points, baby. 
Hell yeah. I got that one right. <laughs> okay. And the number one was Taylor Swift's reputation. I put that at four. I knew it was up there. Wow, okay, Taylor Swift is still killing it. How did she get first over Cardi B, X, Posty? How does she do that? She just takes them and sweeps it. Every time. I did so much better than I thought. This is making me so happy. Thanks for watching Teens React and shout out to Kara Stark and Sam Adrian. Subscribe to see what content we have in 2019. What's your favorite album of 2018? Let us know in the comments. What's up guys? It's Seth. This is my last episode of Teens React. Thank you guys so much for watching. I owe everything to you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. But now, go watch me on Adults React. It'll be a lot of fun. See ya.